Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be looking at this uh, new laptop from Lenovo that is actually known as the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 and this has the latest Intel 13th generation processor and not just any processor but the H series of processor which makes this laptop very very impressive. It also has Windows uh, uh, Hello authentication and in fact I feel this is a very unique laptop top because this is a laptop not only for general users it's great but even for creative professional uh, people who require a lot of what do you say processing power and also people who do video editing and don't want to carry a very bulky what do you say gaming laptop i feel this is a great laptop and uh, let's get on with this but before that i just want to make it clear that this video is sponsored by lenovo and intel in fact this laptop was sent to me by uh, Lenovo India. Uh, before I show you the benchmarks, why I feel this is a very different kind of a laptop, uh, let's have a closer look at the ports and everything. So guys, here is the laptop itself. And first, let's uh, talk about the build quality. And uh, as you can see, the build quality is really good. Uh, this is actually uh, aluminum, analyzed aluminum that we are having. We have the Lenovo logo over here. And overall, I would say the build quality is good. And this actually has the military STD 810 rating. So actually pretty durable. Uh, also, I like the fact that uh, you can open it up with a single hand like this. If you notice it logged us in, it's because of the Lenovo Smart Login and Lenovo Smart Appliances and the IR cameras for Windows authentication. Let me actually show it to you again. And I like these smart technologies, which Le uh, Lenovo calls Lenovo Smarter Technologies for All. These makes our life very easy. This is the Windows Hello Authentication and it authenticated us so that's the also i like the fact that we also have a privacy shutter over here so uh, the webcam is actually a 1080p webcam i'll show you the footage but if you want to shut it off you have the privacy shutter you can shut it off uh, next thing that i really like on this uh, laptop is the screen on this one that makes it a big difference i would say this is actually an oled screen and i like the fact that it's 16 by 10 aspect ratio so you get a little bit more of more uh, what do you say bottom vertical space and that's ideal for professionals uh, also it's a very good quality screen i like the fact that it's actually 100 percent dc ip3 and also it's actually tuv certified for low uh what do you say blue light in fact it has hardware for that screen quality the oled screen that we are having on this one it's top notch it's very color accurate that's why i say even for creative professional who work with video or pictures like photoshop and you're doing editing you will be very happy what you see is what you actually get uh, now moving to the ports uh, let me talk about the ports uh, uh, you actually can charge it with the what do you say this is how you charge it you charge it via usb type c and this is actually the 65 watt adapter that you get in the box. And in fact, I like the fact that I also tested it with some third party, what do you say, 65 watt GAN chargers portable and it could charge. So a good thing is that you just have just one charger to carry around. It's pretty compact and you can also charge your smartphones. I did test it, uh, this charger charging some smartphones and I could do that. So that's actually really good. We also have a full size HDMI port, which is actually 1.4. We also have one more uh, USB uh, type C port and your headphone microphone combo jack uh, and moving to this end uh, we have a uh, full size uh, usb type a ports and this is always on so for example if even uh, the, uh, uh, the laptop is in standby like this you can actually charge stuff like this and i like the fact that you, they are giving actually two usb type a ports because most of the laptops in this uh, range thin and light kind of thing just give one port so i like that uh, we also have a micro sd card slot on this one uh, and it works very fine uh, very well but uh, they should have gone with the full size one but again uh, due to the size i can understand that again you also have a led light right now it's in standby that's why it's going like Again, uh, the standby time was very good. In fact, uh, this laptop works so well that in the past seven days, I did not actually shut it down. Uh, the moment you open it up, it just lights up and opens and the standby time, everything is very good. The idle drain is very, very low on this uh, laptop. Now coming to uh, the big thing about this laptop is that I like the processor choice on this one. This is having the latest Intel 13th generation processor. Uh, this is the Core i5 variant. We also get this laptop in the Core i7, uh, but this specific uh, variant that is having the Core i5 is the 13420H. Uh, and I like the, this uh, uh, one because this is a H series processor not the RU or the P series uh, in fact it's a very powerful processor 
it's actually eight core processor but divided into two parts uh, that is the four p cores and four efficiency cores just like smartphones uh, so the four p cores actually uh, can act like eight threads and the efficiency uh, one are having four so a total of 12 threads that we are having so uh, when uh, there is a lot of processing power required the uh, p cores get activated but when you're just doing light work uh, the e cores work that's why you get actually very good battery life on this one and heating is also very very less let me give you an idea let me just zoom in so as you can see uh, this is the cpu z and uh, as you can see it's having the latest intel core i5 uh, 13 420h and this is the latest uh, 13 generation processor that we are getting from intel and uh, again uh, the p cores uh, the powerful cores can go as high as 4.6 gigahertz when it's actually uh, performance is required and the efficiency cores can go up to 3.4 gigahertz on uh, this one and uh, this is the latest 13 gen as you can see and of course the main board is made by lenovo i also like the fact that the memory on this one is uh, the the latest lpddr5 ram and it's actually clocked at 5200 megahertz generally what i've seen in many other laptops they do have a lpddr5 ram but those are clocked at 4800 megahertz this is clocked at 5200 megahertz uh, the memory is actually soldered to the motherboard but you're getting 16 gigabytes of uh, memory and it's actually dual channel uh, again as you can see lpddr5 ram and it's a dual channel uh, uh, so again you get the advantages of the dual channel also i like the fact that this uh, laptop because of the chipset that's the latest intel 13 generation is also having wi-fi 6e support so if you have the latest uh, wi-fi 6e router it is actually supported on uh, this one now coming to the benchmarks uh, i specifically chose these benchmarks uh, because you can also run it on your laptop these are free benchmarks first is the geekbench 6 core and as you can see for a single core we got a very high score of 2366 and for multi-core we got a uh, very good score of 9912 uh, that means it's actually a very powerful uh, laptop and you can also do heavy stuff on this that's why i say it's great for creative uh, professionals also i ran the popular uh, cinebench r23 on this one and here if i zoom in uh, for multi-core we got a score of 9016 and uh, for single core we got a score of uh, 1756 which again a very good uh, score considering the form factor of this uh, laptop also uh, this uh, um, a variant comes with one terabyte of ssd and if you notice uh, the ssd speeds that we are getting is also very very good read uh, uh, 5161 which is actually very very uh, good and writes also 4821 that way i would say in loading of apps multitasking also it's a very good experience uh, because of the ram that is used that is lpddr5 ram and the combination of the very fast h series 13 generation processor so that way i would say in processing power you don't have to actually worry now regarding the battery this comes with a 56.6 watt hour battery on this one and with the supplied charger also it does support the quick charging so that way it's actually good and in terms of battery life again it depends based on your usage i would say uh, you can get anywhere from 5.5 hours to about seven and a half hours of usage with the battery on uh, this one i also like the fact that this uh, laptop does not heat up that much i was actually really worried about that one considering it's having a head series processor which is actually pretty powerful but because of the combination of the p and e cores if you're just doing regular tasks like this and stuff like that uh you the fan noise is hardly there and hardly it uh, produces any heat the only place where i noticed a little bit of fan noise was that when i was running those benchmarks and continuously taxing the processor yes then you will hear the fan noise but that's normal but in normal situations day-to-day -day usage uh the laptop is actually very very silent and also uh, it does not get a uh, hot or anything like that also as uh, it's a lenovo laptop uh, like most lenovo laptops the keyboard travel is also very good on uh, this uh, laptop uh, and also uh, the keyboard is actually backlit now moving to the speakers on this one if you, you notice we do have front firing speakers on this one and i think so it's a very good choice that they went with the front firing speaker it's actually a two to watt speaker but as it's a front firing speakers it's actually uh, done well and it's actually dolby optimized uh, now moving to the uh, front facing camera as I've told you it's actually a 1080p that's a full HD and here is a sample uh, footage. Guys, this is the footage with the front facing camera, which is actually a full HD camera. And again, as you can see, this is in artificial lighting condition. This might be typical when you're doing video calls or something like that. This is not studio light or anything special. 
so this is the footage that you can expect and i like the fact that lenovo has gone with a proper full hd camera instead of the 720p uh, camera that we get with most of the uh, front facing webcam and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone so you can also judge the quality of the microphone with this Footage. Coming to the software on this one, this comes preloaded with uh, Windows 11 Home uh, Lifetime License and also Microsoft Home and Student Office 2021. So you don't have to worry about that. So guys, as I've told you, this is a very unique uh, laptop and I would say this caters to a lot of niche users who are looking for a very powerful laptop, but also for creative professionals that have, uh, they actually want a laptop with a very color accurate screen. Uh, so you can do video editing or also uh, work on applications like uh, Photoshop, uh, Adobe applications where color accuracy is uh, required. Also, uh, I like that it is also great for people who require a lot of processing power, maybe you're a programmer or whatever or even a video editing or rendering uh, the videos require a lot of processing power and because of the latest Intel 13th generation H series of processor the processing power also on this one is very good and also like the fact that it comes it's fairly a uh, compact I would say it's having a decent 14 inch uh, screen size but I like that it's in 16 by 10 aspect ratio and also it's not super super heavy just weighing about uh, 1.4 kg so certainly a very good laptop coming to the pricing of this laptop in India uh, this range actually starts from around 62,000 or something like that. But the specific model that I have showcased in this video is for about 72,000. Guys, you can actually go to the Lenovo.com website. And if you notice, this is the laptop. And here you can actually customize it. For example, you can change the processor that you want. The Windows Pro, if you want, you can customize that. Uh, Microsoft Office, uh, the amount of SSD that you want. So by going to this uh, website, you can easily customize the laptop. So guys, that's it for now for this IdeaPad Slim 5 laptop. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.